Coinbase's base network officially launched a few days ago and it's primed to absolutely change crypto as we know it. Here's everything you need to know about what base is, why it's so game changing, and the various ways that you could profit off of it before it's too late. Including, we're going to be taking a look at some of the earliest projects on base and which ones might be worth paying attention to. Base is a layer 2 blockchain being launched by one of the largest crypto exchanges on the planet. Coinbase. If you don't know what layer two blockchains are, I had a recent video on layer two blockchains you can go check out. I do a deep dive into all things layer twos and which ones are worth paying attention to. Coinbase has over 100 million users that use the platform and soon those 100 million users are going to be able to transact on chain seamlessly. To put in that perspective, the current monthly total for active users in DeFi sits under just 5 million. That's for all of DeFi. BNB chain, Ethereum, Solana, Cosmos, Optimism, Arbitrum, and everything else you can think of all combined together, it's under 5 million users actively using DeFi. And Coinbase alone is going to launch a layer two that's going to make it seamless for a hundred million users to be able to come on chain. I can promise you, you are not bullish enough about how big of a deal that this is. And you definitely got to be kidding yourself if you don't believe that there are going to be fortunes to be made in this big paradigm shift. And the big key here is the seamless part. Interacting and you know doing transactions on chain is extremely clunky, it's extremely intimidating, and it's extremely difficult for the average non-technical user who doesn't know how to navigate the DeFi space. Coinbase has the potential to change all of that. Coinbase already is great at making a simple and easy to use UI. They've already onboarded more people into the crypto space than I think just about anyone ever. And if they could take that same concept and apply it to getting people on chain, that is going to change everything. And all this will not only make it simpler for those 100 million users to get started transacting on chain, but it's also going to incentivize them to get on chain. That's because due to regulations, Coinbase currently can't list a lot of the crypto tokens out there. However, they can make it seamless for a user to buy that token instead on the base chain. I would imagine it being as simple as a user browsing on Coinbase for the token they want to buy and seeing a simple button that says, hey, buy this on an exchange or buy this on the base chain. And for all the tokens that you can't buy on the exchange, it would just have that one grayed out and it would have buy on base chain. So any user wanting to get access to that token would simply click the buy on base chain button instead, uh, rather than going to another exchange or you know whatever to go buy that token. And if all of DeFi is under 5 million users and Coinbase was able to get just 10% of their 100 million users onto the base chain, then the base chain alone would have double the amount of active users of all of DeFi today. And just imagine what do you think that would do to the value of the tokens and projects natively built on the base chain? The growth potential is staggering. And here's how I plan on profiting off the growth of the base chain. First and foremost, base is not going to have a token of its own. As you can imagine, that would be not very good for Coinbase, which is a publicly traded company to launch their own crypto token. So without a token, how are people going to be able to speculate on the growth of base? People love to speculate and they're going to be looking for the closest thing to a base token to rally around. And lucky for us, there's a token that's perfectly suited to fill this need already and the market has has yet to catch on. But really quick, if you're interested in staying up to date with everything happening in crypto, by joining the Obsidian Council, you get access to monthly research on all the projects I'm looking at and investing into for the next bull run, as well as airdrop guides, in-person meetups, and free access to the Airdrop Masterclass course, which is a $299 course, free access to the Node Operators course, and I'm about to launch my Ghost Tiger Strategy course, which will sell for $2,000, but for anyone who joins the Obsidian Council before I launch it, they'll get grandfathered access for free. And I'm actually about to launch this Friday, August 18th. So this is the last opportunity to join and get grandfathered access to the Ghost Tiger strategy. There's a link in the description if you're interested. The token that's perfectly suited to fill the role of bases token that I'm talking about is Optimism's OP token. Optimism is a different layer two network also built on top of Ethereum. And Optimism has this thing called the OP stack. It's an open source development stack that other developers can use to launch their own hyper customizable layer twos. With this massive idea of creating this thing called the super chain. Basically, it's this idea that a bunch of developers will build other layer twos using the OP stack and will create an ecosystem of interoperable chains that will share sequencing, bridging infrastructure, improving, allowing seamless communication between the various networks. And already a ton of other layer twos have jumped in to utilize the OP stack, including Base. Base is built with the OP stack and Base has already agreed to pay a certain percentage of their transaction fees 
to the Optimism Collective. Base is one of many L2s that form this super chain using the OP stack. And the OP token is, in my opinion, the most likely token to accumulate value with the growth and success of Base. The bigger that Base gets, the bigger the network effect for the super chain gets, the bigger that OP gets. OP is in essence the closest thing to a base token that there is. Maybe secondary to that would be Ethereum in that all transactions on the base network actually transact on Ethereum's network and produce revenue for Ethereum. So in that way, Ethereum would also heavily benefit from all of these new users coming onto the base chain as it's gonna produce a lot more revenue and burn a lot more ETH. Now, that's just one way to play this. There are plenty of other less obvious ways to play this that could potentially produce much bigger upside rewards. Like I mentioned earlier, Earlier, if even a small percentage of Coinbase's 100 million users came onto the base chain, it would be massive. And the tokens and projects that are native to the base chain are the ones that are most likely to experience the largest upside. Now, being that the chain is literally brand new, I don't have any tokens that I've bought that I have extremely high conviction in. But let's quickly take a look through some of the top tokens on the base chain and see if there's any that are worth paying attention to. First off is Ogma Finance. <laughs> they don't seem to have a website yet. They have a really small social following, which could be good because it could mean that we're really early or it could mean that they're just really not worth paying attention to. They call themselves the liquidity layer of base. And based off kind of like what I'm seeing and what I'm reading, they seem like they're going for something like curve if I you know if I'm catching what they're what they're cooking I guess <laughs> this one might be worth keeping an eye on but it's kind of hard to tell at this point next up is base swap literally almost nothing available about this project yet again maybe worth paying attention to but dexes are stupid hard to get right usually like hundreds of them launch on every new chain and it's really hard to you know accurately predict the winners after that is void exchange void exchange actually has a website which is a huge plus it's a perpetual exchange and i have no doubt that perps will be huge on base to me it's about which protocol will dominate not if one will although i'm not like a huge fan of the logo i do think some of the ui concepts are really cool looking and could be you know they, they do look cool no token yet but i'm sure they will eventually have one maybe an opportunity for early users to earn an airdrop by you know using the protocol early to be honest if i could buy the token for this one right now i probably would just because you know i, I don't know that it will win or succeed on the base chain but being early and you know having a decent ui like this and, and looking like a decent project it'd be one that i'd be willing to you know put some money behind and just see what happens so i guess for now i just wait and see if they decide to launch a token and in the meantime keep an eye on other perpetual protocols building on the base chain. After that, there's Horiza. Horiza is a fork of Uniswap v3 with some novel changes. The UI looks nice and they seem to be taking like a hybrid curve Uniswap approach. Again, DEXs are really hard to bet on given that there's just so many of them fighting for dominance. This is another one that doesn't have a token, but if it did have a token, I would probably stick just a little bit of money in, you know, definitely enough that I wouldn't mind losing it at all just to see what would happen. But given that they don't have any token yet, there's really nothing I could do. After Horiza is Pike, which Pike is not strictly native to base as it's a cross-chain protocol but they do call base their hub chain and i actually really like pike it's basically a cross-chain protocol for liquidity borrowing and lending imagine like uh for example lending on optimism and borrowing on base or lending on base and borrowing on polygon and this is definitely one that if the project had a token today i would for sure buy however being that base is so new pike is currently tokenless but i do expect them to launch a token eventually next up is based lend the design work doesn't seem to be the normal you know horrible designs you see in the crypto space, which I like. Uh, it looks like it's maybe something similar to Aave. There's no website or token that I can see so far. So for me, it's just something to keep an eye on. Next up is Bcoin. And judging from the front of the website, I literally have no idea what this is. It says the beginning of an exciting and promising journey that has the potential to reshape the landscape of digital finance gives literally no indication as to what the heck Bcoin is. And again, they give information without actually telling you what in the world this token does. Okay, so overall, the, the kind of feeling I'm getting from Bitcoin is it's one of those tokens uh, that doesn't really have a use case outside of it being like a, a speculative asset. Reminds me of a lot of the tokens that usually come out in the later half of a crypto bull run where you have tokens that explore how to play with tokenomics. They don't necessarily have a use case outside of like trying to build essentially a better Ponzi. And I'm not saying that Bitcoin is a Ponzi. I'm just saying it's an experiment in tokenomics and that's it purely. From what I can see, there's no solid use case for Bitcoin. And this is one of those ones that maybe it could go up, maybe it couldn't. It's similar 
similar in ways to a meme coin in that, again, people are going to speculate on it or they're not going to speculate on it, but it's not something I'm going to invest in because it's just too hard to reliably predict what is going to happen with this token in this current season. Next up is base trade, and it looks like a perpetuals exchange, very similar to GMX, where you have the, the long, the short, you can leverage up to 50X. They do have a token sale going on right now for the next 24 hours. I have not participated in it as of yet. I would like to do more due diligence before jumping into something like this. But obviously this is a native platform to the base chain. It is something that's interesting. Uh, again, I don't know if it's something that I will buy or won't buy at this moment. Seems like BTD is going to be the token of base trade, and it says it serves as both the governance and utility token, granting users the opportunity to earn 30% of BTD exchange profits through ownership. The APR is ridiculously high right now because it hasn't been minted, and so it looks like this is like the, their version of GLP, so their liquidity token, and then their, their version of GMX. And this looks very similar to GMX too. So this looks like it's a GMX fork almost one for one, very, very similar to GMX. I don't personally know, again, if I will jump into the token sale or not. Uh, this is not financial advice in any way. This is one of those things where if you jump into this, this is not an established protocol. They could end up rugging. There could be so many things that go wrong. Uh, it's definitely a risk to jump into something like this. They, they could steal all of your funds if you jump into it, or they could not. They could be totally fine. You, you never know. And that's the hard part about early uh, projects is there is a lot of risk involved. I'd say I'm about 50-50 on whether I'm interested in jumping in or not. Again, I would want to do a little bit more due diligence before jumping into something like this. After that, we have base tools. The token for base tools is base. <laughs> it's a Telegram bot sort of like Unibot. I don't fully know. I haven't really gotten into that whole trend, and I'm not quite sure how to even value these things, if I'm completely honest. Maybe based on pure speculation, the token will, I guess, probably go up in value. There's just currently not a lot to buy in the base chain. People get bored, and the token for this is the base token, which I think will probably confuse some people into just buying it because it's called the base token. I probably personally will pass on this one given that I just don't specifically understand where the value comes from. It's hard for me to dive into every little niche of the crypto space because there's so many and I got to kind of stick to the things I know and I feel like I have an advantage in because I understand technologically how those things work. It does mean that occasionally I miss out on awesome opportunities. Like I really don't get into meme coins. I don't get into, you know, a lot of those kinds of things and I miss out on some potentially huge gains, but I just haven't figured out a way to predictably pick the winners in those sectors. So I feel like if it's just gambling for me, I would just be throwing money at it and really hoping that I won, which isn't really a great strategy for investing. Okay, this is another one that I think is really interesting that's not necessarily native to base. It looks like this originally launched on Polygon and is now launching on base and could be a project that has a resurgence on the base chain where maybe it didn't get any traction on Polygon, but it sees that traction on base. And apparently the whole concept of this is trading volatility. The project is incredibly small currently with a total value locked of only $533,000. So that means there's a lot of room to grow for this project. It doesn't seem like there's a token currently live with this project from what I can tell, unless I'm currently missing something. And it does look like they've had already a round of angel investors come in and invest into the project, which means that there's been some due diligence done on the project, which I think that's a good thing. But the negative side of it is that, you know, there's already been these venture capitalists that have invested money into the project. So we don't really know what the market cap is once they launch token, but we know that some of those tokens have likely already been given out to some of these VC investors meaning that it's we don't know really the size of the project currently it could be uh, a smaller project it could have a much higher valuation already so I think it's one to keep an eye on but it might be one of those ones that the VCs have already pumped the price up so high that there's really not massive gains to be made for the average crypto investor okay next up is Moonwell and this one looks like it probably originated from Moonbeam or Moon River which were kind of like these uh, alternate layer ones during last year's bull market that never really took off, never really gained any traction. And you see that they've moved base to the center. I think they're trying to revamp and restart on base and, and kind of push that as their main platform, which I think there is some credibility that there's going to be apps from maybe other layer ones that are going to move to base as their main chain and are going to maybe see some new life and maybe even have some take off and be super hits. In my mind, it's definitely possible that there's these awesome innovative apps that have just built on the wrong chain that if they move over to a chain that's maybe more utilized could see new life and it looks like 
you can deposit your ETH on here for 15% APY, which is kind of insane. And it looks like most of that is coming from the fact that if you borrow Ethereum on here, you're having to pay 13% APY, which seems kind of high compared to other platforms. For example, Aave, you can borrow uh, ETH for 3% and you supply it for 1%. I don't know, maybe I'm missing something on here currently, but for me, although the website looks really nice and there is some compelling factors about this project. I think it's one that I'll probably pass on because still their native token is on Moonbeam. That is just a chain that I just don't see a lot of people going to to buy this well token. And again, we're looking at tokens that can appreciate in value because of the base chain. So if their main token is on Moonbeam and not on base, then this really isn't a great play for what the, the purposes of what I'm looking for. Next up is SynthSwap. SynthSwap is another DEX. They do actually have a live token. The market cap is currently under a million. So that's really, really small. On this one, I'm also really undecided. Dexes are, again, hard to predict, and I, I'm i not sure. Leet Swap is another Dex, and so far from what I can see, this just isn't something that's interesting to me. After that is Rocket Swap, which it surprises another Dex, but it seems to be like the leader of the Dexes currently. Market cap is around 1.6 million at the time of recording, and a few of the tokens that I've clicked on on other websites have linked back to Rocket Swap. Even with it being currently the market leader for me, I'm just gonna keep going back to the fact that DEXs are too hard to predict. Every time I try to play this game, a new chain launches, I try to invest in DEXs, I always get burned because it's just a really hard game to play. After that is the Toshi meme coin. Apparently it's a cat, but it kind of looks like a dog to me. The website is surprisingly decent. Like it's, as far as meme coin websites go, this is not a bad website at all. <laughs> market cap is already $25 million, of course because that makes sense. I would personally pass as I'm just not good at investing well into meme coins, as I've mentioned. The only meme coin that I've ever liked was Harry Potter Obama Sonic 10 Inu, and I still don't even own that one. So, you know, for this one, I'm just gonna pass. After that is Monkey League. And I'm not really sure what to make of this one. It's a game fight game, I guess, where you build a team of monkeys and play against other players. Uh, but then you take your team of monkeys, then breed them with, you breed them with each other. The token is at a $14 million market cap, which is small, but big for the base chain based on other projects that we've seen. Uh, so maybe worth paying attention to. And after that one is Mochi. Mochi is another meme coin based on a cat. Apparently Brian Armstrong has two cats, one's named Mochi and one's named Tashi. And that's where I guess these meme coins are coming from. I will grant that this one actually looks like a cat which I think is a plus. The market cap is a lot smaller than Toshi, so to get 2 million. If I did meme coins, you know, maybe this would be a fun one to play around with, but again, I just, I don't currently, I don't do any meme coins. Next up is Swapped Base, and this is a DEX, but also has perpetuals as well. Currently has a TVL of $12 million, which is pretty large for something on base. The website design is... <laughs> is questionable, but I actually I actually like it. It's just not like necessarily a good website design, but it is like as interesting to look at. <laughs> Definitely hard to read the text though. The token for swapped base is the <laughs> the base token. They have a decent amount of trading volume at 574,000. The market cap of the base token is really small at just 1 million. And their perpetuals DEX looks like, again, another carbon copy of GMX. This is like, the UI is almost directly stolen from GMX. It's got a total of 22 current users, which is uh, obviously very small. And I think it's worth noting that doing a perpetuals exchange well is not easy. This isn't something like just any average Joe could pick up and be like, oh, I'm gonna launch a perpetuals you know, exchange and it's gonna go well. Like it takes a deep understanding of how these things work and it's it's not easy. So these guys gotta really know what they're doing or else they could really screw this up and have some you know major issues uh, with this. Overall being so small, this might be one that I would be interested in just picking up just because not not that I necessarily feel very strongly that this protocol is going to grow. It's just I feel like maybe it could go from 1 million to 10 million, maybe 1 million to 20 million, which that's a 20 X uh, from here, just because I think some people could get confused by the token being called the base token. I, I think because it's a perpetuals and swap uh, exchange, some people are just going to narrative bet and they're going to say, hey, this is a swap and a perpetuals. Uh, I'm, I'm going to buy this because, you know, I think it's going to go up in value. And it's just not that difficult in crypto, especially on something like the base chain to grow from a 1 million market cap to a 10 million or 20 million market cap. I don't, that's not that difficult. And it's something that's like, hey, if I can 10x to 20x my money, that might be something I'm interested in. I haven't currently bought this token yet, but again, it might be one that I'm interested in. Then, of course, there is Friend Tech, which is taking the, you know, all of Twitter by storm right now. It's basically a place where you can buy shares 
of like top Twitter personalities. I'm actually recording this like an hour before I'm actually putting my video out uh, because this came out after I recorded most of my video. This is one that's blowing up on Twitter because it's, uh, it surrounds a lot of Twitter personalities. And I think if you're a big Twitter influencer, you can make a lot of money uh, by promoting your shares. I currently have not gotten into it. I haven't even set up the app yet. It is worth noting because so many people are talking about it. From everything I understand, there is no token or anything like that at this moment. It is just, again, something worth noting uh, because so many people are talking about it currently. And that's it really. I was kind of disappointed. There's not a lot of good things on the base chain currently just because it's so brand new and just a lot of projects haven't been built yet. I would say my plan is probably to check the base chain every single week and just see what new projects are popping up and keep an eye out for potentially good ones. There is no doubt in my mind that there are going to be some heavy hitters native to base that are going to make some people life-changing amounts of money. It's just about being able to spot those early, which can be an extremely difficult task. As always, none of this was investment advice. None of this was me telling you should buy any of these tokens. You should always do your own research and you should never try to copy YouTubers. That is a quick way to lose all of your money. If this video is helpful, make sure to hit the like button. If you have anything to add or any projects that I missed, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it to be notified each time I release a video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.